Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Today let's talk about order within chaos. We're living at a pace never before experienced on this planet. There are so many competing demands on our attention and the list just seems to get longer and longer by the day. So no wonder that stress and anxiety often is part of our existence, our day-to-day existence as well. You see, you can't turn back time, but you can definitely discover a way to find stillness in your life. Stillness is like this oasis of calm amidst the chaos, and it can rejuvenate and refresh your mind, body, and spirit. It can seem like our lives are filled with so much of noise, distractions, and oftentimes meaningless pursuits and activities. But what if, what if we could filter out all that noise and focus on just the meaningful? What if we could find stillness instead of constant distraction? I believe, I firmly believe that most of us have that power to do so. In my experience, most of this chaos and noise that we see around us is there by choice. We've fallen into habitual patterns over the years and it can seem like we're not able to change them. Therefore, let's talk about a few ways to find order amidst the chaos and then how to find stillness and meaning. So the first step is to become aware. Awareness. Take the rest of today to notice what chaos, what noise you can find in your life. Even take a little time to make a list whenever you find distraction or this sense of busyness. For example, Noise in our lives today come from email, WhatsApp, Snapchat, Twitter, text messages, Slack, Netflix, or YouTube. You might have other sources as well, Facebook, Instagram, Facebook Messenger, news, the television, so many sources. Once we are aware of the noise, we can talk about filtering it out. We have to decide that we want more quiet and meaning in our lives. It's an important decision. We need to decide that it is important enough to miss out on some things from these noisy channels to focus on the meaningful. Step number two, action. Turn off notifications as much as possible, including the unread messages count by each app on your phone. Your phone, your phone allows you to do that. Decide to check on some things like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram just once a day. Others you can check twice a day or three times if needed like your email, work email, Slack, etc. But set a limit. Delete accounts or delete those apps that aren't giving you real meaning. Next item on the list, unsubscribe from everything possible in your email account that is not productive. And from Twitter or any other app where you are following people slash blogs slash websites. If it's not meaningful, if it's not productive, unsubscribe from as many feeds as possible. Leave only a handful that give you real productivity, that give you real meaning. The rest is clutter. Tell people that you are only checking your messages once or twice a day to set expectations. Just send a message out to the people who really matter the most and ask them to be understanding in this regard. Set a time each day when you watch videos or consume media, if at all. Set a time of a day when you read news or blogs, again, if at all. For example, if you say, I only watch TV after 7 p.m., then you have limited how much space this activity takes up in your life. If there are some other things like email, for example, where you need to stay connected because of work, try to speak things out with your boss, your employer or your team so that you can find these periods of disconnection. For example, ask if you can take a couple of hours in the morning and a couple in the afternoon to be dis- disconnected, to, to, fo- fo- to focus on more important work apart from checking your email. Now, if you take these actions, you will filter out most of the noise and chaos. So now what's left? Time for quiet, stillness, focus and meaning. So it's important to take some time to notice your constant need for this busyness or distractions. For example, if you have a moment where you are not doing anything, you're waiting in line perhaps, 
you are alone at your restaurant table while your friend your spouse your family member goes to the bathroom you're sitting on your couch what do you do at that time what do you try to do out of habit hint hint we take out our mobile phones you see this is your pattern of busyness and movement now see if you can let go of those patterns those habitual patterns catch yourself and instead opt for stillness for quiet try to just sit there and notice your surroundings soak it all in savor the moment remember the the almighty breathe in and breathe out reflect on your day ask yourself what you are grateful for right now cultivate and practice gratitude when you notice yourself running to busyness and distraction pause turn instead towards stillness and meaningful activities things of productivity the key is that you can absolutely create a life of enjoyment peace and stillness we no longer have to believe we're driven solely by monetary gain and filling up the time with over scheduled days you can transform your life the way you want it you have the power within you find the beauty and stillness in yours and continue to create more of that if you like this video please drop a like assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh